Hello guys, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to connect your computer, reroute everything that accesses the internet from your computer, excuse me, your Windows computer, to Tor. Um, now, before I begin, I want to make note that it is 3.17 a.m., so I'm quite tired, but I'm going to try my very hardest to make this as clear and as quick as possible. So to begin with, you're going to need one application called Advanced Onion Router. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this application here. Uh, now as you can see, to begin with, I'm not connected to using Tor. I could not access Onion, Onion websites if I wanted to at all. Um, but that's going to change. And hopefully this video shouldn't be more than three or four minutes. So once you download Advanced Onion Router, um, and extract it. This is what you're going to get. So you open that up, you're going to want to run Advanced Onion Router. Now, you'll notice that your proxy port is 9050. You want to leave that there, unless of course you feel like doing something else. You can edit that, put your own number in there. I'm going to leave it at 9050. Uh, proxy port or proxy address, you want to leave that there. That's your local host. So, leaving everything as it is right now. Well, all you're going to do is press connect. Now this will take probably no longer than one minute. Uh, it's bootstrapping with the network, communicating, figuring everything out. Now, we're at 100% connected to the Onion Router network. Okay, so once that's done, minimize that and it will go to your tray right there. Go over here. Um, if you're on Windows 10, do exactly as I'm, as I'm doing. If you're on Windows 7, go ahead and use the search function that is in the uh, start menu and type in proxy. First thing you're going to get here is configure proxy server. Click on that and you will get here. Um, under the connections tab, you'll have local area network settings. Click on that. Yeah, proxy server. Use a proxy server for your LAN. You definitely want to do that. Okay, now here's where things get as difficult as they're going to get. Um, so under port, you put 9050, which was the port that, uh, oops, that Tor, or the onion router was accessing. And here you want to type in under the address localhost. That's literally all you have to do. And press OK. Now, I know that was really, really hard. But if you did it exactly as you should have, and as I have done it here, you're going to find that if you go down to this website to check whether or not you're connected to the Tor network, um, you'll find that it will now work. Now before I go ahead and refresh this, um, I want you to take note of the IP address. So this is my real IP address here. Yeah, go ahead. Try to DDoS me. I don't really care. Um, so that would be my real IP address. Um, this link will be in the description, but now that we've completely set it up and we refresh that page, it is going to tell us that we are connected and available to access dot .onion web pages. Um, now to show you that this isn't something that's only local, I will go ahead and go here and load it up into the Edge browser. It's going to tell you the exact same thing. Um, now, if you want to prove, if you really, really are interested in knowing whether or not, you know, this this is actually working, not specifically just for these tools, but working for everything, um, as an example, we'll go ahead and go to uh, Chrome settings about checking for updates. So it just checked for updates, and we'll go ahead and go down here and launch this again. We can see that we had our request um, from Google. We'll go ahead and move this over here so you can see it in real time. I'm going to go ahead and relaunch this. It's checking again. And didn't find anything because I actually just uh, updated this. I had to redo this video because it messed up the first time. But there you have it. You are now completely connected to the Tor network. And Quite honestly, it's not that slow. I've made uh, Skype calls and everything through there. So now you can see that my IP address has changed. And there you have it. That's it. That's it. That's all that you needed to do. So 
if this video helped you out, please uh, press like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I can come out with more content for you guys that you guys will uh, enjoy.